Hello everybody. In today's video, I'm going to go over AI PRM for ChatGPT. I think this is one of the most important browser extensions that are out there for ChatGPT because it's a lot more than a single extension. It is basically like a database or a search engine. So if you don't have ChatGPT set up or don't know what that is, make sure to go to my playlist called ChatGPT where I explain how to set it up and go through some basic use cases. Also, if this is your first time to my channel, I recommend you to go to my playlist section so you can find the videos that are relevant to you. So what is AI PRM? As per their website, they are the ultimate time saver for ChatGPT with one-click prompts for SEO, marketing, copywriting and a lot more. Basically what it does is that it adds a list of curated prompt templates right onto your ChatGPT window. Additionally, at this time, you can use this for free. The first thing for you to do is to log on to your ChatGPT and come to this Chrome extension link which I'll have in my description and click add to Chrome. I already have it added to Chrome, that's why the button says remove from Chrome. After you have it added, you can just refresh the browser and you should see something like this appear on your ChatGPT window. Now let me go over the different sections of EIPRM. Every single tab that you see here when I hover over it is a prompt template. Some of these are generated by AI PRM, like this one called Outrank Article. And some of the other ones are generated by community members, like this one by Kenny, which says Midjourney Prompt Generator. Now, if you hover over any of these, you're going to see three sections down below. The first one here on the left is the number of views this prompt has had. That means people have clicked on this prompt to check it out. The second one which says 240.4K is the number of usages it has had. The third one which says 5.9K is the number of upvotes it has had. You can upvote or downvote any of these prompts by using these thumbs right here. And you can also report this prompt by clicking this button right here if you think this is doing something offensive or illegal. The button right here is a way to copy this specific prompt and send it to someone else. Alright, now that you've seen what an individual prompt template looks like, you're going to see that there's over 1700 prompts already in place. And currently it's showing 20 of them in this page. If you get overwhelmed or distracted by so many prompts like I do, you can always change this to 4 so it shows only 4 at a time. You can of course click this next right here which is going to show 5 to 8 and then 9 to 12 and come back to the previous ones using the previous button. Now, if you already know what kind of prompt you're looking for, you can come to the search section and search with a keyword. Say if you want to look for a stable diffusion prompt, you can search. So all the prompts which say stable diffusion should show up right away. But if you don't know the keyword of the prompt you're looking for, you can come to this topic section and go to this drop down where we have the topic categories of all the prompts that are currently available. Say if you want to find something in software engineering. It shows currently that there are 86 prompts and is showing 1 to 4 of the 86 prompts. Now there's a chance that this prompt might be outdated. So this one was developed 3 weeks ago. So if you want to know if there are currently any updates going on in this prompt, you can sort by latest updates, which are going to show the prompts which are being actively updated. By default, the sorting here is set to top votes. You can also sort by the highest number of views here. By the way, each topic here has its own subcategories. For example, software engineering here has backend development, web development, text editor, and version control based prompts. If you want to drill down even more into, say, backend development, it's going to only show 39 prompts which are specific to backend development. When I first saw AI PRM on my ChatGPT window, I actually didn't like it. This looks very distracting. I am not a big fan of clutter and I like to have a focus area to work on. So I have found a better way of finding the correct prompt on AIPRM. I actually go to this link called app.eiprm.com slash prompts. So now I have a larger and cleaner screen to work with. Now you can do the same thing here. Say I want to find all the prompts that are available for SEO and the ones which are related to keyword research. All right, now let me try using a prompt. So I'm going to select this keyword generator, click on it right here. It's going to give you a small teaser on what this is about. So this one will create a list of keywords related to your prompts. It's going to generate a bullet list as well as a comma separated list beneath that you can just copy and paste. Now to use this prompt, there's actually nothing to copy. All you do is to click this button called try this prompt on ChatGPT. Make sure you're logged in though. When you click this, it's going to open up this prompt on ChatGPT directly. 
All right, now I have my keyboard generator prompt template in place. I can get my output in a bunch of different languages here. I'm gonna keep it at English for now. I can also get my output in a bunch of different kinds of tones, all the way from authoritative to warm. But this might not apply to this one because I'm generating keywords. Also, I can change my writing style all the way from academic to technical. But again, this is not applicable to my keyword generator. So now I need to type something to generate keywords against. Let me say I wanna write an article about craft beer and press enter all right it's generating me a bunch of keywords related to craft beers there's microbreweries hops yeast barley stout beer styles brewing process you can write articles on a bunch of these topics you see even if you don't know much about craft beer ChatGPT can come up with a bunch of different ideas you can have a whole content strategy on and like it promised i have both my bullet points and a comma separated list See, now if you don't like this response, usually what people do is to click this regenerate response. AI PRM, however, has this fancy button which can do a lot more. If you click on this arrow right next to this continue button, you're gonna see there's an option to clarify, exemplify, expand, explain, rewrite, and shorten. If this was a piece of code, you can request it to explain that code to you. If the response was a complex concept, you can request it to clarify that concept to you. If your response was too long, you can request it to shorten in it as well. Alright, going back to the ChatGPT window with AIPRM, you can actually create your own prompts in this other tab called Own Prompts. When you click this button called Add New Prompt Template, after selecting the topic, you can either keep this private or share this prompt publicly. If you have generated a useful prompt here, you can put your name and website here, and this could actually serve as a promotional tool for yourself as well. I might create a future video where I create and publish my own prompt to AIPRM. All right, the last section I wanna talk about is something no other browser extension has, which is its own community. You're gonna see AIPRM actually touched 500,000 users in two months. The founder here is actually really helpful. He's from Vienna and has his own YouTube channel called AIPRM as well. If you have questions on specific ChatGPT prompts, you can use this section to ask them and there's actually a lot of people helping out. So I highly recommend joining this forum and getting active on it if you want to get better at ChatGPT prompts. So I hope you understand how powerful this browser extension is. So instead of hunting different kinds of websites to generate prompts for you, you can just come here and type something like Midjourney and have inspiration for Midjourney prompts right on your ChatGPT window. Well, I hope you got some value from this video. If you did enjoy it, make sure to click the like button and subscribe to my channel. I have a lot more videos coming out, both on text-based AI tools and AI art. Till my next video, thank you so much.